Hey, you guys. Okay. It's Tuesday. In case you're not paying attention to what day of the week it is, it's Tuesday. And um, I'm going live every day this week around noon. So you are going to get to see some real life stuff going on right now. The kids are just finished up from lunch and they have to get focused back on schoolwork. And it's kind of getting difficult. Okay, so I'm going to put um, this to the Facebook group and the Frugal Farm Girl. And so today, we're going to show, we, as in just me, I'm going to show you every single room in my house has something, furniture or decor from BJ's. Hi, Mooka. So I'm going to show you guys that. We're going to just have fun with it. I'll talk about some items I bought from BJ's that are total not good, not worth it. Um, clearance deals, if you aren't, if you have no idea what BJ's has as far as furniture and home decor items, today is going to give you a good look at that. I love, like, home decor stuff, and decorating the house is kind of, you know, I'd rather do that than, like, you know, I feel like some people who can dress very well, that is not something I'm good at, but I feel like I'm, I'm okay at home decor, so that is a passion. Let me know if you guys have bought BJ's furniture, whether it's um, couch, bed, whatever, and it'll help other people, you know, see if they should buy something from BJ's. I will say most of the time, every piece of furniture from BJ's is a great price, but I have learned it might not always be worth that cheap price, which you guys are going to see something in a minute. Um, so let's see who's here. Muka's here. Janelle is here. Hi guys. If you're here, say hi and tell me if you have any, if you have bought any furniture from BJ's. Also tell me if your kids are about to lose it and so are you. <laughs> Homeschool is going well. Yay. All in all, it's going well too. This morning, so we have been doing it from 8 to about 1045 straight schoolwork and that is going really well. And I feel like it's after lunch, like they just got lunch now. It's kind of hard to re-get them to focus if anybody else, anybody else going through that. All right. I'm going to stand up and show you each room, if you're just joining, in each room in my house. And every single room in my house has something from BJ's as far as furniture or home decor. So I'm going to go through and show you guys that. Let me just share this live video to the Facebook group. If you too love home decor... I'm going to drop the link for my three favorite places to find cheap, cute home decor. So I'm sharing this into the group, which I call it home, BJ's home. No, no, no. What should I call it, guys? Um, let's take a look at my house. No, I don't want that. Come hang out with me. There we go. As you can see, I'm in a completely different mood today than yesterday, I'm trying to keep it together. Yesterday, I don't know, yesterday was a weird day. Today is a much better day. I'm feeling the day today. Anybody else feeling the day? All right, share it to there. Let me share it to the Frugal Farm Girl. I'm in the office right now, and I only have one piece of furniture in the office from BJ's. And I got it about three years ago. Share on a page you manage. As you can see, I'm not the best multitasker here. Come hang out and see my home decor from BJ's. All right, guys. And hopefully you're chatting with each other down there. Hi, Heather. Um, I haven't bought BJ's furniture, but like what I see, I tested sofas in the store and they felt absolutely horrible. Super cheap quality. Yeah, yeah. Um, never bought furniture. So most of you guys probably know because I shared my dining room experience that was the first furniture that we bought from bjs.com and would never I wouldn't recommend it but somebody else I feel like said in the group they bought a dishwasher and it came right away so I had a horrible experience with the shipping and it taking forever and it could be because where I live I live out in a rural area and the shipping company told me they only deliver to my area once a month you know where bjs was like that's not true so if you live out in the country, I wouldn't recommend BJ's.com. Maybe if you are in a more populated area, it's better. Um, I did, but yesterday it was almost empty. So, yeah, and if you guys want to share what state you're in and how your BJ's is looking, I know our Costco is fully stocked and doing good. I haven't been to BJ's now in a while. 
All right, so we're gonna, oh, let me, I'm just gonna show you guys. I have, I'm a, I love shopping at BJ's and I run the blog, mybjswholesale.com in case you're brand new. All that stuff is there. You can go check out the site, support your, your blogger. I'm gonna show you each room in my house because every single room in our house has something from BJ's. All right, so hopefully this will be entertaining for you guys for a second home. So this is the office. And um, I didn't tidy up too much for you guys because, you know, we are stuck here. Let me scroll down. If you guys are here, leave comments, you know, like chat. The more comments you leave, the more Facebook shows other people and they don't miss out. Okay, so this plant is from BJ's. I love getting, so is this one. I love getting their little plants, you know. This, I have to say, is a mess right now. This is not how I want this set up because I'm starting seeds and this room works really good for some seeds. So I'm going to flip you around so you guys can see good. This was a chair I bought from BJ's a couple years ago. It has held up pretty good. The fabric is a good ooh, quality. My cat likes to scratch on it, and it didn't leave scratch marks. So these chairs I've seen a few times at BJ's, and I cannot remember the price, but I know that they were under, under $50 a chair. Are they the most comfortable chairs ever? No, but they're small, they're compact, and, you know, they work good. Actually, you know what? I think he, Eric went back and got this one on a deal. Oh, I lied. I just remembered. So this was really cool. I liked this picture. Tell me if you've seen this kind of rustic home decor at your BJ's, because it's very rare that I have found home decor. And I have said so many times in our frugal living that God just blesses me with a deal on home decor because I've never seen home decor like this at BJ's and we hardly had any extra money, but I was like, I, we just moved into this house. I'm like, I really just need something that fits more farmhouse style. This house was built in the 1800s. We live out in the country. That's the look. And there, there it was at BJ's, you guys. And I'll have to look at my old post because I shared it on the blog, but I know it was cheap. It was a deal. So the two things in here, these are my two things from BJ's. Plants, barn, chair. All right, we're going to venture on out. Oh, let me just tighten this up. I think I'm loosening it, the selfie stick. So you've never seen it in your store either. I'm telling you. God, you know, like, I feel like it's a sense of humor in a way. And when he's kind of like, hey, what? I got you. I got you, girl. All right, here we go. Let me try to fix the selfie stick. Okay, because I don't want you guys to be shaking too much. So we're leaving the office. We are entering the dining room. And yes, everybody's here. So there's Riley. So this is the dining room table, real life look. The one a lot of you guys followed about because I shared it on the Facebook page, not on the site. Super pretty, right? Um, it's dark. It's really big. It comes with two of these center um, leaves. I think that's the right way you'd want to say it. So it gets even bigger than this. And it was $7.99, and we have four, six chairs. But with the whole disaster, we actually ended up getting eight chairs because a couple of them were broken. And I wasn't going to ask the girls because this is our homeschooling table. <laughs> where is everybody doing their homeschool? Did you guys make a room for it, or are you kind of just doing it where it fits? Okay, so we had this table. Where's Eric? Because I feel like my husband would know. Maybe someone even knows from the site. When did we buy get this table? I feel like, how long have we had it? Do you guys want to meet my husband? That's Eric. <laughs> okay, so we've, we've only had it like a few months, and it's a super cheap finish, and you can kind of see this all chipped away, and we I just colored it in with a marker because, look, from a distance you can't see. But if you were to take your nail, you could scrape this finish right off. So that is just something to keep in mind. Like somebody else said, it's, it's cheap. It's a cheaper quality wood table, right? It looks good. The chairs are, um, are nice. They're pretty comfortable, right, Kenz? What do you think? They're pretty comfortable. And um, it, was, it was for us. The size was great. But you know what? I probably wouldn't, I don't know. I'd rather save up the money, I think, and get a better quality table. And with little kids, I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. That's that on the table. All right, so in here, this little bar cart, 
I got as well um, a couple years ago, which was nice because it used to be out in the kitchen, but now it matches this table. And again, this isn't organized very well, but... Oh, Susie says, hi, Eric. Hello, family, husband, and kids. <laughs> so this is another BJ's item, and um, so far it's held up. We don't really use it much, like the table, you know? So it is what it is. And if you guys have anything at BJ's, like as far as furniture-wise, that you want to share, let me know in the comments. So you can kind of see we have these barn beams we pulled out of our barn. The curtains are from BJ's, so those are really good. There's my phone. Those are a really good deal at BJ's for curtains. If you need curtains, grab them at BJ's. Um, unfortunately, the dog, Daisy, our puppy, ripped it right there. Um, let me see what you guys are saying. Michelle says, I like the style, but I had one made from reclaimed solid wood, and it'll last forever. Same price. Yep, exactly. Love the look, but probably wouldn't stand up with kids. Homeschooling happens wherever. And, I mean, so for me, you know, with the BJ's blog and stuff, I would rather get stuff at BJ's. And it just, you know, I don't know. I wouldn't, I wouldn't get it again. Okay, we're off the table. So this little bench was pretty popular. Um, I know a couple people really liked it. This was another BJ's find. And it has held up pretty well, I would think. The girls use this a lot with their little crafts and stuff, so they've got these sliding doors. A little shelf. If this is, like, getting too wobbly, you guys, just let me know. And then this cushion can come off. This, I move a lot in the house, and it's, yeah, it's held up pretty good. One little paint scratch, and I feel like we've had it for two years, so. My littles do it at the kitchen table. You get a lot of your furniture at Costco. So, you know, I only got my Costco membership in April, so we'll see what happens. But... Most of this stuff is, you know, since I blog about BJ's, I can use my blogging money. Um, wait, nothing over there. So, okay, this lamp. This lamp is kind of funny. I got it from BJ's for like 12 bucks. <laughs> and it's weird because it's supposed to have like a, a, at an angle, the crookedness. And the end of the table looks like that. Now look, see, I did not clean up very well for you guys. <laughs> but it kind of, it works in here. Um... Came with the lampshade and everything, but I laugh because if you don't have the lampshade set up, like, do you see it, you guys? It's got, it's kind of weird. <laughs> but anyway, I got that blanket. I feel like uh, last month or the month before this $7.98 Chanel blanket. So now, see, usually I would like this draped a lot better in this basket, but you know, kids are home, so. The basket I got from Target, in case anyone's wondering. But that blanket was a really good deal, seven ninety eight at BJ's. And I feel like they even had them online, maybe. Okay, this, this rug in front of the fireplace is from BJ's as well. And it's like an indoor-outdoor fabric, which, you guys, I put this kind of carpet under the dining room table because it holds up with the dogs. And if kids spill it and stuff, it just wipes off really nice. But yet it doesn't look like that plasticky kind of outside rug, you know? Um, so that was a BJ's find. It was on clearance. I got it at the Batavia one. I can't remember how much. Of course I got it on clearance, right? So these chairs, this is my, we got at BJ's. And this is like what we're learning when you get cheap chairs. We probably had these for five months. And you know, we have kids. So I'm really bummed. And if you have any suggestions on how we can fix this so it doesn't get worse, I'm all for it. I'm going to look up some stuff, too. I just haven't had a chance. I just noticed it yesterday. So in some time, it kind of stinks. Um, I got them because they're small. And they fit in this corner, but it kind of stinks because they're, you know, there you get you get what you pay for. I think they were $145 or $49. Um, so yeah, if anybody else has gotten those chairs from BJ's, let me know how yours are holding up, because I'm sure it's a matter of time before, before they go. So let me, you guys, let me know, share your comments below, and, um, yeah, I don't know, kind of a bummer. One more piece of furniture in here. This little guy who gets thrown around all the time, and this is the one our cat likes to claw up. 
But it's it's actually really comfortable. And it's cute with this little storage chair it came from. And I've seen BJ's have a similar chair like this every year when it's like back to college time, but they just kind of change the design of it. So again, like these are smaller pieces of furniture, which work good. Um, okay. Janelle says I saw the couches at BJ's. Yeah, and I feel like the couches might be more comfortable, but it's that same pleather kind of material, you know, that would stink. This carpet down here, if you want a big area rug, BJ's, Costco, all that stuff is really good prices on area rugs. Whether you get it on clearance or not, the regular price is a good deal. Michelle says we just bought furniture and ended up biting the bullet and buying Lazy Boy. The cheap stuff isn't worth it. Yeah, so I'm wearing that too. My dad works at, oh, you want to see our old dog? Here's our old dog, Jake. My dad works at Raymore and Flanagan. Oh boy, what did I do? Oh, it wants me to do a, a thing on here. Okay, so my dad works at Raymore and Flanagan. And then I was like, Dad, but you know, the furniture is just so expensive. I gotta let Jake go. Come on, Jake. Like, I, it's just so expensive, but now I'm realizing the quality of it is so much better. Um, and we got, we got a, actually a kitchen table I can show you. I think I showed you guys one time that we got from Raymore. And that quality compared to the BJ's table is so worth it. So worth it. So I just, I, I, I really think that if you can, save up for like high quality furniture. But little stuff, you know, at BJ's, rugs, all that kind of stuff is a good deal. Um, Riley, can you let Jake in for me when he's done so we can continue on? Um, okay, in our bedroom, I don't really think I have anything. Oh, so we redid our room. And we put in these tile ceilings because we had the old nasty yellow tile ceilings. We painted our doors to save money. And they had these old lights, which ideally I would want to change where those lights are. But we didn't have time for that, so we just got a cheap $10 light to replace it. But these curtains are pretty cool. Again, really, maybe you can see better this way, really long, thick, nice curtains. And they were a really good deal at BJ's. I think it's the, I don't remember what the brand is, but. So yeah, that's the only thing in here that I got from BJ's. Then I'll show you guys the girl stuff upstairs because I love it. This is a good deal at BJ's. Um, we have really narrow stairs in this super old house. Okay, the girls did not clean up their playroom. Because <laughs> uh, why? Why, right? I just don't want to add to the chaos. Okay, let me switch this. Go on, there we go. Oh, the lighting. Okay, so these pictures two were really cute that I ended up getting at BJ's, that dog. Come on. And the cat over there. Then these were the back to college chairs that the girls um, love to sit and read in them. So we got some of these chairs from BJ's and those fold up too. Like if you got sick of them, you wanted to fold them up. This rug, again, really great deal because of the size. You can get a huge rug like this for under $100. But these, you guys, are the best price I have seen at BJ's. And not too long ago, they went on sale for $39.99. Now, as you can see, they don't keep it organized. But they came with those bins, too. So that was a really great deal, and Riley wanted to use it. We needed something for her Legos. So storage stuff, all that kind of stuff at BJ's is a super great deal. Um, this must be lagging behind that I can see your comments now for cute dog. <laughs> um, and then what else? Oh, these rugs in the girls' rooms are really cute. We got from BJ's. So again, if anything, get your rugs from BJ's. And then Kenzie has her own little thing too that we got. These nightstands were perfect. Um, but Kenzie, you know, had to put all the stickers on there. So yeah, these were BJ's things for the girls' room. Really nice with two drawers. And, um, yeah. That is what I use in the girls' room from BJ's. I'm, there probably is a few other things, but as far as, like, the big furniture stuff, that's pretty, that's pretty much what we got. So, hopefully that was fun. <laughs> Gave you something to do, something different, right? Um, I used to love chairs like those. I had something similar in my first place. 
yeah, the cube shells are great too because you can just throw stuff in there and put it in and you feel like it hides, hides the clutter, you know? Um, so yeah, that is all. Oh, this office chair too. It does not match. It's ugly, but it was like 20 bucks <laughs> that I got at BJ's. Um, so yeah, that is, that is what I got at BJ's. So you can share your thoughts, comments below. If you're watching the replay, go ahead. Yeah, I wanted to, how about the stickers? And I was just like, you know what? It's not even worth it right now. Oh, well. Oh, well, I don't care. Right? I'm like, you're having that until you're out of the house. Like, that is your nightstand. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh, I'll talk about some deals really quick. I shared, I found a lot of board game deals this morning. So I shared those on the site, on the Facebook page, this page right now. And I'm probably going to focus on more. Anything that you guys can get online, I'm going to share it. BJ's, it seems like some items you can pick up and pay and some are just going out. So keep, if you want to try to do pick up and pay at BJ's, I encourage you to make sure you're signed in. If you're not using the app, go to the item that you want, put it into your cart and see if it's available that way to do pick up and pay. A lot of the stuff at BJ's is sold out online to have it actually shipped to your house and not pick up and pay. And don't forget, Instacart, it's the same. They're going to the same store. I'm going to make up right here. The same store that you shop at. So if your BJ's is out of something, like, they're just going in at the time you want to go shop. They don't have, like, you know, special privileges or anything like that. If you want to use Instacart, try to pick a time for them to go in the morning that's available when items are more in stock. That's my tip on Instacart. And free delivery. So I just found out if you go to BJ's.com, I shared in the post, there's something, it's not weird. It's just the way that Instacart does it to make money. If you use anybody's free delivery code, which they are, they stopped all of those now, but if you went to Instacart itself and then search BJ's, you're going to pay more per item than if you go to BJ's.com and you choose same day delivery. And I wrote it in the post, but you will see when you're on Instacart It'll say Instacart, BJ's Wholesale Club. And after that, it'll say same everyday low prices. And if it doesn't say that, then you're you're paying more per item. And there's some stores like Aldi's, it doesn't matter if you went to Aldi's website, which I don't know if people do that. And then Instacart, it's the same no matter what. But BJ's, it is not. So if you want in-store prices, make sure you go to BJ's.com and hit their same day um, prices because you don't want to be paying extra right now when you already have to pay a delivery fee. And with that, there's a code. If you spend more than $30 or $35, I believe, you get free delivery. So that saves you about 15 bucks. And I put that on my BJsWholesale.com. You can just scroll on the main page. It's on there. So that's my tip to save if you're doing Instacart. A lot of people are doing meal deliveries, which that, if you don't want to go in the stores too, is a good option. And I shared a post with eight of the top ones. Some of them are complete meals, you know, that are already pre-made, and some are just ingredients that you cook up to make a meal. Either way, you can change it up a little bit if you're getting bored. Um, I talked about meal planning yesterday, but I feel like it, <laughs> I wasn't focused. <laughs> um, what else? What else? I think that's it as far as BJ's. Oh, BJ's, did you guys see? Announced... They're increasing wages for all workers by $2, which is pretty cool. And it's probably because, let's be honest, anybody who's worked in retail knows that people are probably calling in. <laughs> you know, like, they're probably trying to get people to stay in there to help out. And those people who are going in and helping out, like, thank you, and they should be rewarded because that is a tough job right now. I, I can imagine just the stress level. And I was thinking that too, like yesterday when we were watching, we're in New York State for anyone who doesn't know, we were watching the governor and I just felt that wave of like, wow, you know, like the people we need to be praying for, all the people in the healthcare, all of our governors and all the people in government right now who, who this is on their shoulders, like they have to make the decisions and what they're doing. And you and I right now, well, maybe not you because I don't know what you guys do for a living. As far as me and our families, like we just have to stay here, stay inside, you know, like I can give my kids the schoolwork. I can do that. And I was just like, thank you, Lord. Like that, that like we, we don't have to take that stress on of what's going to happen with the kind what's going to, you know, like right now we just 
focus on doing our part. And it's just, you know, like just crazy time for those people. So keep those people in your prayers, all of our healthcare workers who are going out and coming back to their families. And what else on the site? Oh, so BJ's did that. What else did they announce? I feel like there was another big announcement I shared last night. Does anyone know what it was? Oh, BJ's not accepting items on returns. Um, it was shared in our Facebook group, so we're on the page. And it's pretty much like anything you're buying right now, it seems like they're not going to accept a return on. And it makes sense. So they listed food and beverages, household cleaning products, paper products, medications, beauty products, including hygiene products, sanitizers, soaps, batteries, and water filtration. So anything that you buy from BJ's that falls in that list, all sales are final. You're not going to be able to return it. It's very similar. Costco did the same thing um, a few days ago. And I'm, I'm assuming that all more retailers are going to just follow that, right? Follow that protocol. So those are the two big announcements. BJ's is also opening, you guys. That's been out for a little bit early for seniors, which I think... Safe to say most retailers are doing that, which is really awesome. Oh, if you need allergies, if you're feeling like, is it Corona or allergies, the BJ's brand allergy medicine has two $3 off BJ's coupons you can clip. So it makes it normally $16, you're paying 10. So you're getting $6 off and you can pick up and pay that. And I think that you can even have that one delivered. So if you need allergy pills, I use those ones and they work fine. Compare, it's comparable to Zyrtec. So that's a really good deal. And um, that's it for big news. Yeah. That's it for big news on the site. So just check out the site, mybjswholesale.com, for what's going on at BJ's. You can follow this page. I'm sharing online deals on the Facebook page. Just, you know, because we're all ordering online now. And sharing any lifestyle, like how to save money kind of tips as well on the page or you can check out the frugalfarmgirl.com has a lot more frugal living tips and stuff like that so I guess that's it and hopefully if people who are just watching now you have to wait for the replay to go because I showed all of the BJ's item stuff talked about Instacart and talked about a couple big changes that BJ's made I think that's it you guys anything else let me know um, what did we say I'm gonna go live tomorrow around the same time and what did we, I say that Wednesday was? Does anybody know? <laughs> I'm telling you, this whole off schedule thing is really making my brain crazy here. How are you guys feeling with it? Um, are you guys adjusting well? Feeling like it's a blessing? Wednesday, okay, what's working and what's not working? So I said, since many of us are in a different routine, we can share things that are working for our routines and things that are not. So if you want to join me tomorrow, we'll share tips to try to deal with these new situations that we're in. Thursday, thrifty finds, things we've repurposed. We can share crafts that maybe our kids did that we think would be helpful for others. And Friday is going to be a fun one. Really going to try to get my husband to join me. We're going to talk about like budgeting, debt-free living, and the basics of that. And kind of our own little journey on that. So that's that, you guys. Thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. Oh, let's see. So Janelle just said, um, praying, hanging in there, having ups and downs. And then me and my husband have talked about that too with ups and downs. I think that is just like a normal way that we're processing everything is one day we're like, okay, it's fine. You know, okay, it's getting better. And then the next day it's just like overwhelming. And you're thinking like... Should I be Lysoling the Amazon package? And, you know, should I be visiting a family member that might be living alone? Like, yeah, it's normal, you know? And the best, like, thing is we're all, we're really all going through it together. And so I just hope that we support one another through it. And, you know, like, just, just really supporting other, each other because I feel like we are going to look back on this and be like, wow, how did we react? And... I would say to like let like the stuff with the kids go and just we can only do what we can do you know in that in that aspect of it for me personally okay I'm gonna let you guys go and people who just caught it <laughs> then you can watch the beginning if you're interested in the BJ's items thanks you guys for watching checking out the site and have a great Tuesday and I'll see you guys tomorrow